Welcome to Betting with Hershey and um, very pleased to catch up with Stephen and um, we've known one another for years and um, have a, a, probably a, a great f friendship over lo a long period of time so um, and you know it's with great joy I see him still playing cricket at, at his age now. I wish I could do, I'm too bloody old. Welcome Stephen, I've known Stephen for a long time, I first met him as a young lad at North Durham and uh, there was a fair few young players there and um, talk about, just talk about your time at North Durham Stephen, how, how many years did you play there? Oh, I came from concert when I was a young kid about 12, 13 year old yeah. and uh, my dad wanted us to still play cricket, he took us to North Durham yeah. and ended up playing junior cricket from about 13, 12, 13 yeah. all the way through. Stayed at North Durham for 10, 15 years, mm -hmm. but I stupidly left. I should never have left North Durham. Biggest mistake of my cricket career. But we played in the Durham Senior League then, days, and it was the hardest league in the North East by far. By far. I'm not saying those were the days to the younger generation now, but North Durham were always in the bottom four, but in any other league, we'd probably be in the top four in them days. We had a good set of lads. Very young team. I really enjoyed it, and circumstances made me leave, which mm. I should never have done. Um, you must have played against some good players and professionals in in the Durham Premier League, Premier League. Oh yeah, there's some cracking bowlers. You and Chaffield, was he Roger, Richie Richardson, Damien Martin, your friend, come across to play. Damien come as a bowler, um, and then it'll be a batsman. Um, for Desmond Haynes. Played some great cricketers, right, some yeah. brilliant, fantastic cricketers. And um, there's one good English, well, lots of good English people, like but Stephen Greensword was a good player. Well, yeah, was, Steve Greensword, Steve Atkinson, um, good cricketers, you know, um, always at you. Um, you learnt your Brian Lander, Brian Lander, in my opinion, was one of the best swing bowlers, late swing. I was a left hand, and Brian used to bring it into me the last yard. It'd be a straight ball, and then the last yard it would, oof, great bowler. Um, now, when you were at North Durham, there must have been a couple of people who had a big influence on you, and then later on in your career, career any of the people that sort of had a big start with you as clubs or men? Yeah, at North Durham when I was younger, it was a lad called Keith Allen. Oh. Keith uh, helped me as a junior cricket along with his brother David, oh. um, Stan Lapsley, uh, Richie Smith, Steve McCarthy, and then along came this guy, oh. um, who I looked up to. He would praise me when I'd done well, and when I'd done badly, I'd get a rollicking, only rightly. But he had ways of doing it. True with Hershey, he had too much in his own shoulders, getting runs himself, than looking after us young boys. But North Durham was the place, no ifs or buts. And um, after you left North Durham, you, you played a few different clubs, Stephen? And, um... Yeah, I was in a bit of a merry-go-round. I was a left-hand batsman batting in the first three or four. And an opening bowler sometimes. Um, I went to Felon, played at Kirkley, Belsier, Newcastle City, which Newcastle City had a great time. We had a great team, we were beating everybody. But it was the humour with the lads of all Indians and me and Mark Newton, local lads, it was great. But, um, been a bit of a traveller, but I had my moments. Sometimes I was temperamental, and other times for a few years I was just like I am now. Now, Stephen, you. Um Love cricket naturally, and, and uh, had a big part of your life. And then you, um, you've played for the county at different sides, or yeah, senior cricket. I played for the Durham Cricket Association in my thirties, Northumberland Association. But I, I got picked for the Durham County Seniors over fifties to play all the other counties around England. Um, opened and bat number three. Um, really enjoyed it for six years. Um, Real good standard playing against guys in the 60s and 70s who could put a ball on a 50 pence piece. Fantastic. These were the cricketers, same people I was playing against when I was younger, you know. They were really good cricketers. And really Railway, enjoyed it. Railways cricket, what was it? Yeah, like? the British Railways, the North East. As imagine, the Railways is a massive company and we had some great cricketers all over the country. London, we used to play the London lads. Um, then we're all West Indians and we're brilliant. We used to give them a good game. We had a good team. Our team was from the North East and Yorkshire. It was a mixture. But it was great standard, a really good standard. I'd say Durham Senior League standard. Yeah. Um, as 
as, I, as I've mentioned before, I've known Stephen for a long time, and you actually watched a, um, a lot of football and supported the football team and probably travelled all over the country. Has it given you a lot of pleasure? Yeah, and try and keep, keep me hope, laughing. Yeah. I'm a staunch Sunderland supporter, everybody knows it. Um, I'm a fanatic, to be honest. Um, we got relegated this season, and we deserve to get relegated. But I'll stand by them, as it's my team. We're still the best team in the North East. <laughs> <laughs> we beat them up the road six in a row, and that's all I can look back on. It's, it's great being a Sunderland fan. You're either high as a kite, or you're down there. Nothing in the middle for in Sunderland. Welcome to Batting with Hershey, and we have Stephen again. And um, I was lucky enough to take um, fishing, uh, be taking fishing with Stephen in, in, on the time. So, where did that start, and, and how did it come about? I'm from a railway family, and my father, my granddad, and my great granddad were all railway women and all fishermen. And they used to manage the railway fishing on the River Tyne and South Tyne. Something the family done, so I'm a keen trout fisherman, salmon fisherman, every kind of fishing. One little funny thing that happened, the fella to me left here, Mike Hirsch, I took him fishing on the South Tyne, what I call Alan Whitfield, many years ago, and he hooked a salmon on one of my rods, and this salmon took off down the river, and Hershey with his flip-flops on and shorts, followed the, the fish down the river and tripped Fish came off and he snapped my rod. It was hilarious, but he had, it was like a wild dog on the rod. It was one of the funniest things I've seen in fishing, to be honest. And you run a, a big fishing club, do you? Or you yeah, to... North Eastern Railways Angling Club. Yeah. It's a salmon club at the time. So any friends of Hershey, they come to come on deers fishing, you're welcome. Yeah. Um, I've took quite a few cricketers up there over the years. Um, okay. Footballers, Gascoigne and Niall Quinn. How many members do you have all? We about 40 of us. It used to be 100, but I cut it down. Um, it's the best salmon river in England. And we've got some beautiful beats, which I manage and I look after. It's uh, one of my great passions, fishing. More so watching other people catch fish who are beginners. That's where I get out of it. How long's the area to fishing? We're, we're around the Hexham area, up to Hawkesall. So what's that about? About 30, 30 miles, different places, you know. And I can remember going there and there was um, otters in the water. And yeah. It was, it, was all, it, was all, it was wonderful to see. So, um, there, so. Rightio, well, Stephen, you've, you've had a, a wonderful life. and um, Still playing. Still, and still playing, so it's good. Well, cheers. Still playing. Keep I'm still on. playing cricket. 57. Keep on betting so, with Hershey. Yeah, we'll Rightio. see. Thank you very much, guys. Cheers. Thanks, man.